Hey guys, welcome back and welcome to another video. If you're new to my channel, hi, my name is Julia and um, we do fun stuff here. I post too much. <laughs> If you didn't already read the title and see the cover picture, it's not clickbait. We are going to be doing a tutorial using the MAC Aladdin collection. I have all the info right here. I'm going to be giving you guys as much info as I can and also providing you guys with swatches and showing you how I got this look using the collection. If you want to see how I got this look and see the MAC Aladdin collection, then just keep on watching. So here is the eyeshadow palette. It's called Princess Jasmine. Let me open it up. This is what it looks like. It's got nine shades in it, about three mattes, and the rest are shimmery. Here are swatches of this palette. This palette retails for $35. Then we have the little eyeshadow pigment. This is $24. It's in the color Rose. And here is a swatch of that pigment. This pigment is already a part of Max line. And then we have the bronzer and highlighter. This is what they look like on the inside. Here is the highlighter, just a very lighter gold tone. And here is the bronzer. Definitely a bronzer and highlighter for more medium skin, which would make sense for an Aladdin collection. So these are both considered like powder blush, but they both retail for $35. Then we have the Technical Eyeliner. This is part of MAC's original collection, so this retails for $20. It's just obviously in its special packaging for the Aladdin collection. And it is just your classic black eyeliner. Then we have this guy, which is a Crystal Glaze. This retails for $24. It's called Number One Wish. And this is something you can use on your lips, on your eyes, on your face. It's a really interesting product. Here's a swatch of it. It's pretty much clear, but it does have these really pretty pink like sparkles in it. Then we have four lipsticks in this collection that all retail for $20. And then we have three lip glasses that retail for $19. This is a friend like me. Princess Incognito. This one is Raja, which I think that's how you say it, or it might just be Raj. And then we have Whole New World. For lip glasses, we have Diamond in the Rough, which is my favorite. It is so pretty. Then we have Magic Carpet Ride, which is also so pretty. And finally, Jewels on Jewels. All right, jumping into this tutorial, you guys, we're starting off with some moisturizer. I'm using the Tatcha Silk Cream, and I'm just going to moisturize my face with that. And then for my under eyes, because I was exhausted when I was filming this video, I'm using the Perk Up Eye Gels from Patchology. I'm just gonna place those under my eyes, and you're gonna see them for a little bit throughout the video. Um, and then I am going to do my brows. For my brows, I'm using the It Cosmetics Brow Power Pencil in universal taupe. I'm just going to fill in my brows and then I'm going to start to shape them out with some concealer. I usually use shape tape concealer but you guys can use whatever concealer you want um, if you want to. I have been not really into primer lately and I've just been using a lot of concealer as my primer for everything so I'm gonna also use this as a primer for my eyes. It's so cute! All the packaging is this purple, this blue, and this pink, and it is so cute. So we're jumping into the eyeshadow palette, the Princess Jasmine eyeshadow palette. Guys, I'm so, so, so upset that there is no like turquoise green like you see on this little mirror that I'm using in this palette. I really, really wish that there was, and I felt like there should have been, but it is a really pretty palette. It is more of a natural berry kind of palette, so that's kind of the eye look that I first 
thought of when I looked at this palette. So I'm just going to start off with a transition shade and then put a darker shade in the outer corner. I did end up taking the eye gels off halfway through. So once we're getting into the darker berry purple color, I'm going to blend that in the outer corner. And then I'm taking the rose pigment, which is actually a super pretty pigment from MAC. I have it already. It is in their original collection. I'm going to place that on the center of the lid going more towards the inner corner. And then I took this shade from the palette. It is the middle shade and I just used that to help kind of blend out the rose pigment into that dark purple at the end. Then I took a lighter shade to the inner corners and brow bone as I always do. And then for eyeliner, I'm using the Graph Black liner from the collection to just give out a smoky liner and then also tight line. And I used a little bit of the darkest shadow in the palette to help me smoke it out as well. And you can do it with a wing too if you want to. I'm not too much of a wing person, so I kinda winged out the shadow but not the eyeliner. And then gonna move on to lashes. I'm gonna curl my lashes with a Tarte um, eyelash curler and then I'm going to use two mascaras. I'm using the L'Oreal Lash Paradise Mascara. I'm using the base mascara, which is just a white primer and it's going to help kind of extend your lashes a little bit and thicken them and then I'm going to use just the regular lash paradise in black and I'm just going to you know put it all over my lashes <laughs> And then we're gonna move on to the bottom shades. I'm using this silvery shade right underneath towards the more inner corner and then to the face. I'm using the um, hangover primer from Too Faced and then the Cover FX Blurring Primer to smooth everything out. For foundation, I'm using this Pure Cosmetics 4 in 1 Love Your Selfie Foundation. This foundation does come in 100 shades, which is absolutely insane. Um, I'm going to have a Foundation Friday up for you guys probably next month talking all about this foundation so make sure to stay tuned for that and then for concealer i'm using my nars radiant creamy concealer and i'm just gonna blend that out as i normally do with a beauty blender so that we can have some highlight and then to set everything all over my face, I went into this Pop Setting 101 palette. I actually really like this. Um, it's got some, it's got three different shades inside. It has like a peachy shade, a yellow shade, and a white translucent shade. Then for bronzer, I'm using the bronzer from the collection. It is a little bit more of a red bronzer, like red undertone, but I do like it. And then I'm using this blush from Charlotte Tilbury, just to give my face a little color. And then for highlighter, of course, we're using the highlighter from the collection. It is a very pretty gold shade, great for medium skin tones. And then I'm gonna set everything with the Wander Beauty Setting Mist, and then apply some mascara to the bottom lashes and the Benefit Brow Tones in number four throughout my brows to give them a little more texture. And then for lips, I'm using this lip liner from Nude. It's called Nude something. It'll be in the description, I promise. <laughs> and then for lipstick, I'm using two of the lipsticks from the collection. Um, I didn't get the exact shade that I wanted, so I wasn't too happy with how the lips kind of went with the eyes, but I f kind of fixed it a little bit topping it off with this gloss but here is the final look and how it came out i hope you guys liked it let me know your favorite products down below and um what you liked about this video thank you guys so much for tuning in and watching i truly appreciate it from the bottom of my heart if you've already picked up stuff from this collection let me know what you picked up down below or just let me know what your favorites are i'm curious to hear your thoughts i have to say that the palette is super pretty some of the lipsticks are really really pretty the glosses are probably my fave and yeah, that's kind of, that's kind of, that's kind of it, to be honest, you guys. I thought there was going to be just a lot more of that Aladdin, Jasmine green in here, like this color, a lot more gold, and I'm not, I'm not disappointed because the collection is still beautiful, but I'm disappointed that it wasn't more colorful, if you know what I'm saying. Hence, the backdrop. I feel like these are like jasmine colors, no? Green, purple. <laughs> 
but hopefully Mac keeps coming out with more collections with Disney movies and just Disney, like maybe they'll come out with a Lion King one because Lion King is coming out soon. Ooh, that would be really, really, really awesome. That's really all I have for today. Thank you guys again for watching. Make sure to subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to click the notification bell so you don't miss out on anything else I post. And check out all my other videos here. I love you guys in the minute back and I will see you soon. Bye.